This is a, a quick demo tutorial on using Dreamweaver CS5 with uh, Acquia Drupal installation, um, just a local host installation for design purposes, etc. Um, when I first tried to use Dreamweaver CS5, I got this error message, and looking around on the web, it seems like a bunch of other people have gotten it too. Um, if you want the correct uh, installation information for this particular uh, error, go to about 3 minutes and 30 seconds into this video and I have the setup, uh, setup information for how to get around this. Okay, so um, just real fast I'm going to just install Acquia Drupal. Um, I downloaded it from their site. Just do this quick installation. Um, okay, i got to put in my password. Don't worry, I won't make you sit through the entire installation. I just cut to that, but here it is, just starting from square one. I'm going to just click through these options. I just use the default. All this stuff I kept as default. Um, I do change the username to admin. And then type in a password. And for the email, that's you can just make up anything that's not my actual email. As long as it has an at sign in it, it should work. Okay, we're going to click through this, and then I just cut out. This takes, you know, five or ten minutes, actually, to do this. So we cut that part out, and then it runs a little script at the end. And there we go. And now we can click Finish. Again, type in your password. And here is the interface starting up. And once the both lights are green, we can click go to my site, and there is our new Drupal installation. Okay, so now I'm going to launch uh, Dreamweaver CS5. Um, as you probably know, CS5 has some options for working with content management systems. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is open the uh, index.php file, and I'm going to find that at the sites folder. There it is. Acquia Drupal and then find the index PHP. And I'm going to open that in Dreamweaver CS5. There's that code. Now if I click on live view it will miraculously actually render my Drupal site which is pretty cool. Okay, this is really important. Um, when you try to do that live page, you may get an error message. Um, the first thing that will come up is says this page may have dynamically related files that can only be discovered by the server. When you click on discover, if you don't have the um, internal server set up correctly, you will get this message. Dynamically related files could not be resolved because the site definition is not correct for this server which doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Um, if you click on Setup, um, you will get the Server Setup menu, and that menu is um, a little bit confusing, and I, and I think that's where a lot of people are having trouble. That's certainly where I got stuck. So uh, let's look at that now. Okay, I do have it set up correctly, so I'm going to go back into that dialog box by clicking on Manage Sites. And um, if I edit it, this is exactly what you'll see when you click that setup button. Um, first thing, some of this is obvious, um, that first site folder is where the actual Drupal site is living. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, let's go through some of these. This is not straightforward. Um, let me go into the edit screen here. Okay, um, I named it Apache. I don't think that matters, but just for the hell of it. Local network is where it's connected. The location of the server folder I had originally put as uh, in the applications because um, it seemed like that's where the server itself was living. That's not correct. The way I have it here is actually the correct path and that is of course the same place that the site itself is living. important that the testing server model be listed as PHP MySQL. That's kind of obvious. And then um, you can see here that the address 
is again where the site lives, not where the Drupal. I'm sorry, where the um, Apache server or the Acquia Drupal server seems to be living. It's again where the site is. Okay, the rest of these uh, web URL. That's just the local host. And most of these other menu options um, are just left at their default settings. Um, so again, the the server location was the thing that that definitely threw me off and seemed from my looking around on the web to be throwing other people off as well. So just by chance, I happened to put in the location of where the Drupal site itself was and um, and then it worked fine. Okay, the rest of these are just default. And I'll click on done and that is all set up and good to go. Okay, so when you do the discover process, when you have the server set up correctly, um, it will find all of these files um, that are part of your Drupal installation. There's CSS files, there's INC files, um, there's all kinds of stuff in there, which is pretty cool. All right, one other thing that's interesting about using Dreamweaver with the Acquia Drupal install is that the site is actually functional. So if you hold down the command key, um, you can actually click on buttons and links and the, the site will actually respond within Dreamweaver. If you just straight up click on a link, you will get the CSS information. So now when I command click, I actually go to the My Account stuff. So I'm not sure if the site is completely functional, but at least you can do some, some basic navigation, um, which would help with styling things. Okay, you can also sort the type of files that you're looking at. So in this, there's probably a faster way to do this, but um, I'm just getting rid of everything but the CSS files. And so now you have the actual um, CSS files that are part of the um, the theme, the standard, I think it's Garland theme here. And again, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna make some changes just to show you that you can. Of course, you would never do this because you don't want to um, you know, change the default theme. You'd wanna go through the, the sub theme process, but you can see um, just that it is active. You are able to edit the CSS using the tools in Dreamweaver and actually make make changes. Um, remember, there is something about hacking the core leads to dead puppies or something like that. So definitely, um, if you're interested in theming, want to go through the, the the pretty simple process of creating a, a sub theme. Okay, last thing is there's this inspect button, um, which is really similar to using Firebug. A lot of people use Firebug in Firefox in order to see where things like padding and margins and links for you know what, what's generating specific bits of HTML, etc. And um, that function is now built into into Dreamweaver. Very cool. So when you right click, you can sort of trace back the CSS. Um, elements that are contributing to what you're looking at. Um, it will link then to the CSS file itself. So when you click there, it takes you to that particular element. You can zip over to this side then and do things like add a color property or background property to it, uh, if we can spell background. Um, and again, all of those settings are available here. So um, you can really muck up the design by making that solid blue as opposed to white. Um, but you get the idea. Very, very powerful features, um, powerful and easy. Okay, that's about it.